Hello everyone, um, just waking up, my son, he was up playing the game, um, I had a dream, and it was crazy because it's my first time ever having a dream about the, these people, I know I had a dream about the Pope before, but this time I had a dream about Obama, and, um, his whole entire family. In a dream, they came to my mom's house. They, I guess they came to visit, whatever. I'm not sure. Um, they all had to sing, you know, his two daughters, which is not his daughters, and um, his so-called wife. They was uh, leaving out, like, I guess they was done doing what they had to do. Because I guess my mom had to get together at her house. And um, they left to the back door because, you know, people had to go to the back door. In real life, like, people go to the back door. So they went to the back door and went to the front, to their car. And I asked them if I could spend the night. Before we left out, I asked if I could spend the night with them. And they said, yeah. They didn't mind. I'm like, oh, cool, okay. And, um, I think it was the youngest daughter. I'm not sure. It was the oldest of them. It was one of them. But, um, that girl, she was really, like, all over me. She was just, um, like, rubbing her, you know, like, she was just, like, putting herself against me and stuff like that and just, um, I think it was the oldest one. Uh, she was just crazy about me. And I, I guess you could say she... I'm gonna just say she was really one to me, you know. And um, She was saying stuff she wanted to do and everything. And I, I'm like, you know, what's going on? But you know, I was still going with them and everything. And um, we left out. Obama had like a some type of mini truck or mini van or something like that. I'm not sure. It wasn't a van. It was one of them, I forgot what it's called, but it was like one of them trucks or something. Um, Like a family truck, I forgot what it's called. It was, and it was a silver, like a silver nice brand new truck, you know. Um, It was really nice. But after that, I forgot some things, so I went back to go get some stuff. Hey. It's crazy because it was around this time, like, you know, the, the weather. It was around this, it was around this, um, the season, you know. I could tell it was, because it's like, because uh, I know today's going to be in, in the 50s. So like in a dream, it's like, and on that day I didn't even need a coat, but I brought it because I know the other days it's gonna be chilly and stuff like that. I didn't know how it was gonna be in Washington, so I just brought my coat anyway. And um, I even got a few extra things though, but um, I went to the house to get my my coat and other things. And I forgot the other things. The only thing I brought was my coat and everything. And, um, after that, because my sister, she, I told, I, I was asking her to go get my, that she go get my, my coat and stuff like that, and um, she went back in, they will go give me some candy instead, I'm like, since I didn't ask for no candy, I asked for my stuff, you know, and she was like, oh, so she, when, when, when she opened the door a little bit to give me the candy, I just went right, went right on in, because I know my stepdad, he's really strict about going to the front door. But I went anyway, so I get my stuff real fast, and um, I went to go get my coat and some other things. Excuse me. I went to go get my coat and some other things. But as I walked out, it was like um, I was trying to go back, like I was in my room, and I was trying to go back to, you know, to the uh, to Obama's truck and everything. But it's like, as I was walking, it's like I wasn't walking nowhere. It's like I was stuck there, and I couldn't move, you know. And I was trying to hurry up and move, but I, it's like I couldn't move. Even though I was walking, I wasn't moving. And I'm like, what's going on, you know? 
So I started walking when I looked down and didn't look up. I started walking. And you know, so I started running to the truck and everything. Hopefully, he was still out there, and I saw the truck still. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I went out there. He opened the trunk, so I put my coat in there because I didn't, I didn't even need it because it was warm out. It feels like it was today, you know, the same weather. Um, I put my I put my coat in a trunk. Now this is really weird because when I put my trunk, when I put Oh, excuse me, sorry. No. When, I, when I put my coat in the trunk, I got in the car, and for some reason, the coat was right back on me. I'm like, what the heck just happened? I know I put my coat in the trunk. I I, I kept saying it to myself. I'm like, I know I put my coat in the trunk. You know, and it was just so weird, you know, and I didn't understand what was going on. And, um... And then, it was a guy that was in a, in a car, like one of the boyfriends or something. And he wasn't up there before, you know, because we didn't walk out with him at, out the house. So I was assuming that maybe he was just sitting in a car or something. I didn't know. He, he wore glasses. He like, he, he, I'm going to say he's wearing glasses. Um, after that, we was driving off and then the guy, it was like around nighttime. Um, I don't know where we were, but we went downtown somewhere. Now, as we were driving, you guys, um, it was so weird because we were driving and all of a sudden, it was just like a lot of, like a fog, like a lot of fog was just all around the city, all around downtown. It's like everything started to become dead. Um, you know, the, the, the streets was filled with cars and fog. And it was dark outside, and it was just covered with darkness outside everywhere. And I mean everywhere. But be, but before that happened, as we were driving downtown somewhere, I'm not sure where we were. Um, I seen two or three moons in the sky. It was so weird. It was one big one and two small ones. And I think one was ours and the other one was another one. But it was like three moons in the sky. I'm like, what the heck is this? And then when I tried to look at it some more, because we were driving past buildings and stuff, it started to get foggy and it started to get cloudy, so I couldn't see the moons anymore. No so it was cloudy in the sky, and then it was starting to get foggy all around us. And then we were driving towards like downtown where it was just nothing but just cars sitting outside, and it was abandoned cars and stuff, and there was no one there. It was nobody. And then we started to go down, like drive down further. And we've seen people outside, like if only a few people. They look like zombies. And um, I thought it was fake. I thought it was just a game. But then later on, I was like, hold on, something ain't right here, you know? And then, because I, I was seeing people at the dawn weird. They was like, you know, making zombie noises. And they was looking like zombies. And looking, they, they skin looked pale. And I was like, you know, something's not right here. And after that, I saw this building. And this man was standing at the building, like on the edge of the building, and he jumped from the side of the building, but he jumped far to the point where it looked like he had some type of supernatural powers or something. And when he jumped and he landed without hurting himself, I knew someone right. I'm like, okay, I, he's he's not normal. So I got out of the car, and I was about to fight him, you know, like def defend us pretty much. I got out of the car and I was being brave and everything and I was fighting him and I was winning. Like, I wasn't scared of anything. It felt like I had supernatural powers. You know, like, I can do whatever I want, you know. And I felt strong and everything. And, I, and then he pulled out a gun on me because I, you know, I was beating him up. And um, he put out a gun. It was a revolver. And he shot. He was shooting me, but I was dodging him as he was shooting at me. You know, and then after that, it switched to me. It switched to me being in this building, and there was this woman there, and and then like she looked like she was with the government or something, and I was fighting her like I was fighting her too, which was weird because you know people in the government you know they fight as well. So anyway, I was trying to get some information off her, and she was just running away from me, and I'm like, um, you know what what's going on? Please tell me. And she said, I can't tell you anything. I'm sorry. And she just walked through the door and just left, and that was it. 
you know, and after that I woke up, and I'm like, what just happened, I don't know, I don't understand the dream, but uh, I think probably the zombie thing about to happen, I don't know, um, we need to be ready for anything, um, something's about to happen, that's all I have to say, um, this dream means something, so, um, I don't know, I never had Dream out of Bomberman before, but um God bless you.